Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 570 Piping Inspection Code in service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration of piping systems. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 7, Inspection Data Evaluation, Analysis, and Recording. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 7. The following is a list of all the sub-clauses as listed in the table of contents. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 7 accompanied by the sub-clauses. Corrosion Rate Determination General The owner, user may use either the point-to-point -point analysis method, or a statistical analysis method, or a combination of both to determine the long-term or short-time corrosion rates. Corrosion rate calculations by point-to-point -point method as illustrated in the figure. The long-term corrosion rate equals T initial minus T actual divided by time between T initial and T actual. The short-term corrosion rate equals T previous minus T actual divided by time between T previous and T actual where T initial is the initial thickness at the same CML as T actual T actual is the actual thickness of a CML measured during the most recent inspection. T previous is the previous thickness measured during the prior inspection. The long-term and short-term corrosion rates should be compared to see which results in the shortest remaining life as part of the data assessment. The authorized inspector, in consultation with a corrosion specialist, shall select the corrosion rate that best reflects the current process. The key to corrosion rate calculations. We have to convert the month into a fraction of a year. For example, suppose a reading was taken in May 2003. May is the fifth month. Since there are 12 months in a year, May is 5 twelfths of a year. And 5 twelfths equals 0.42. Therefore, May 2003 can be represent as 2003.42. Corrosion rate problems in mills. A mill is equal to a thousandth of an inch, one mill equals 0.001. Say, mills per year versus thousandth of an inch per year. Example 1. The following thickness measurements were recorded for a CML on an 8 inches schedule 20. Carbon steel pipe in hydrocarbon service. The minimum required thickness for internal pressure is 0.123 inch. Installed August, 2002 equals 0.250 inch. August, 2007 equals 0.230 inch. October. 2012 equals 0.222 inch September 2017 equals 0.208 inch What is the short term corrosion rate Solution example 1 The given information is per the diagram below Task The short term corrosion rate Solution Step 1 Convert the months to years as shown on the diagram. Step 2 Calculate corrosion rate. Plug the given values into the formula. So, the answer is 0.0028 inch per year. Example 2 The table below shows the dates and corresponding wall thickness of nominal pipe size 4 elbow in a piping system. What is the corrosion rate to be used for the inspection interval calculation of this elbow? 
Solution Example 2. The given information is per table below. Task. The corrosion rate to be used for the inspection interval calculation of this elbow. Solution. Step 1. Convert the months to years as shown in diagram below. Step 2. Calculate corrosion rate short term. Step 3. Calculate corrosion rate long term. Step 4. Pick the controlling corrosion rate, the highest. So, the answer is B, 0.0028 inch per years. Statistical analysis method The owner user may elect to use a statistical analysis method, for example probability plots or related tools, to establish a representative corrosion, remaining life estimate and or re-inspection date. Any statistical approach shall be documented. Statistical analysis employing point measurements is not applicable to piping circuits with significant localized unpredictable corrosion. Remaining life calculations As illustrated in the figure Remaining corrosion allowance equals T actual minus T required The remaining life, in years equals remaining corrosion allowance divided by corrosion rate so the remaining life in years equals t actual minus t required divided by corrosion rate where t actual is the actual thickness of a cml measured during the most recent inspection T required as the required thickness at the same CML or component as the tactual measurement. It is computed by the design formulas, for example pressure and structural, and does not include corrosion allowance or manufacturer's tolerances. Example 1 The following measurements were made on a pipe in hydrocarbon service. A corrosion allowance of 1 16th inch was included in the original design. What is the current corrosion allowance? Solution Example 1 The given information is per shown on the diagram. Task. The current corrosion allowance. Solution. Remaining corrosion allowance equals T actual minus T required. So, the answer is C, 0 0.030 inch. Example 2. The table below shows the years of operation and corresponding wall thickness of a class 1 piping system. For a minimum required thickness of 0 0.380 inch. The shortest remaining life of the piping system is. Solution Example 2 The given information shown on table below. Task The shortest remaining life of the piping system. Step 2 Calculate corrosion rate short term. Step 3 Calculate corrosion rate long term. Step 4 Pick the controlling corrosion rate, the highest. Step 4 Calculate shortest remaining life. So, the answer is B, 3.5 years. Remember inspection interval. Setting inspection intervals without the use of RBI as per the following table. For continuous service, Thickness measurements inspection interval is lesser of one half remaining life or maximum intervals recommended in a PI 570 table 1. Ones, greater than full remaining life up to two years, if remaining life is less than four years. Visual external inspection interval is setting from a PI 570 table 1 directly. For non-continuous service, Visual external inspection interval is same as for piping in continuous service. 
Thickness measurements inspection interval is based on the number of years of actual service, piping in operation, instead of calendar years. How do I determine the next inspection date? Next inspection date equals last inspection date plus interval. Example 1. Here is the data for a class 2 pipe circuit. Determine the interval and next inspection date for the thickness measurement. Solution example 1. The given information is shown on table below. Task. The interval and next inspection date for the thickness measurement. Solution. The maximum thickness measurement inspection interval. Lesser of one half remaining life. R. L. Or maximum intervals recommended in API 570 Table 1. So the maximum thickness measurement inspection interval is 6 years. Next inspection date equals last inspection date plus interval. So, the answer is B. 6 years and January 2021 respectively. Example 2. When is the next thickness measurement inspections date for A for a class 1 piping last inspected on August 15, 2018? If the remaining life is determined to be 3 years? Solution example 2. The given information. Remaining life equals 3 years. Last inspected on August 15, 2008. Task. The next thickness measurement inspection date. The maximum thickness measurement inspection interval is full remaining life up to two years. If remaining life is so the maximum thickness measurement inspection interval equals two years. Next inspection date equals last inspection date plus interval. So, the answer is C, August 15, 2020. Review questions. Question number one. Long-term and short-term corrosion rates should be compared in order to. Answer is D. Question number two. Statistical analysis of thickness data is not applicable to piping systems with significant. Answer is C. Question number 3. Inspection records contain the following information for a particular CML in a return bend. Based on the information above, the corrosion rate for the location is. Solution Example 1. Step 2. Calculate corrosion rate short term. Step 3 – Calculate corrosion rate long term. Step 4 – Pick the controlling corrosion rate, the highest. So, the answer is C, 0.010 inch per years. Question number 4. The following thickness measurements were recorded for CMLs in a piping system in Class 2 service. The pipe is 6 inch. Schedule 40, carbon steel. The minimum required thickness for internal pressure is 0.064 inch. The structural minimum required thickness is 0.11 inch. The minimum alert thickness is 0.13 inch. Solution question number 4. Step 2 – Calculate corrosion rate short term. Step 3 – Calculate corrosion rate long term. Step 4 – Pick the controlling corrosion rate, the highest. Step 4 – Calculate shortest remaining life. So, the answer is C, 17 years 3 months. Question number 5 
A class 1 piping circuit has a T-ACK tool equals 0.374 inch. T required equals 0.254 inch and a corrosion rate of 0.015 inch per year. How long before the next thickness inspection is required? Solution. Calculate remaining life. The maximum thickness measurement inspection interval for a class 1 circuit lesser of one half remaining life or maximum intervals recommended in a PI 570 table 1. So, the answer is B, 4 years. Question number 6. A class 2 circuit was recently visually inspected and tested for thickness. The measurements revealed a remaining life of 18 years. The next visual inspection should be in. Solution question number 6 The maximum the next visual inspection interval for a class 2 circuit API 570 Table 1 So, the answer is B, 5 years. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.